How many of you get confused when you read about or when you see videos on the sign of Scorpio? There are some people who say that Scorpio is the sign of spirituality. And then there are some people who say that, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, you know, it's the sign of obsession. It's the sign of addiction, sexuality, pornography, prostitution, anything which degrades you basically. And some people say, no, it's the highest of the spiritual signs. It is even greater than uh, signs like Sagittarius, Cancer and Pisces. Why do I say these three signs? Because Jupiter, the planet of spirituality, rules Sagittarius and Pisces and gets exalted in Cancer. And then some people say that, no, actually, you know, Scorpio is both. It is this and that. Oh, so much confusion. <laughs> But do you know that uh, anybody who has any planet in Scorpio is extremely fortunate? You may be thinking, ah, kuch bhi bol hai. <laughs> He's out of his mind. He's just speaking anything, whatever he wants. I mean, how can a planet in Scorpio be a blessing? Or suppose you have your ascendant in Scorpio. Then also it's a great blessing. And I'm not just making things of myself just to get more views and attention and subscribers <laughs> i will tell you the reason why but before that we need to understand what scorpio is all right there are many misconceptions and this is an area which is like a double miscon uh, misc uh, there's like misconception like sometimes i feel by reading the articles and seeing the videos that they don't even have the conception of what Scorpio is. What to speak of having misconceptions. <laughs> okay. So we will discuss about it today. In short, hopefully. And if you are new, then like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you want a consultation or if you have a planet in Scorpio and you want to know something about it, you can go to my website below. You will find it in the link down in the description section. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you with the sign of Scorpio. Now, <clears throat> and yes, one disclaimer before I start speaking anything. This is going to be a very heavy video. <laughs> I used to give this disclaimer earlier, but nowadays from last six, eight months, I have not given it. But now I am giving it here again. This is going to be a very, very, very strong video. So if you feel pinch when I speak certain things in my videos, which I definitely know. <laughs> yes, then if you feel like mailing me or sending me messages in WhatsApp, abusing or hate messages or saying to me that go to hell. Why are you sitting here? X, Y, Z. So then uh, you are the wrong place because this video is going to pinch you very bad. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, uh, that's your free will. If you want to watch it, then you're welcome to it. So now, what is the sign Scorpio all about? The sign Scorpio is originally the sign which is there in the 8th house, number 8. In one word, what Scorpio is? Details later, but what what is that one word which completes the sign Scorpio? <laughs> it is the graveyard. Should I repeat? It is the graveyard. Or the sm it's a place where dead bodies are burned. Smashan. But the thing is, uh, it doesn't mean that if your Venus is in Scorpio, your spouse will die. Or if your son is in Scorpio, your father will die. Of course, everybody is going to die one day. So, what is the meaning of the word graveyard? <coughs> graveyard doesn't only mean the physical, uh, the denial of the physical existence of somebody. It also means that that feeling which you get when somebody or something which is very near and dear to you is taken away from you. That feeling, Scorpio is basically tears. Tears, that's the sign Scorpio is. Why do you cry? Because you feel pain. <laughs> Nobody will cry just like that because the pain has got so much excruciating that you are not able to handle it. Lord Shiva drank the poison but we are unable to drink it sometimes. 
or most of the times and that poison is coming out that's why scorpio is represented by that sign scorpion the animal just poison at the back all the poison is coming out yes so when it goes to such an extent that we cannot handle it we start crying because scorpio shows attachment basically and what happens when you are attached to something and that thing is taken away from you oh my god how miserable your life becomes right that is what the sign of scorpio is but the question is from where does it start nothing starts in scorpio <laughs> and even nothing ends in scorpio it is like a junction <clears throat> just think for some time scorpio is the only zodiac sign which is in the boundary of two extreme opposites which are the two extreme opposite signs one is libra the other one is sagittarius now you may think that aries is also in the boundary of taurus and pisces but why scorpio is more important because scorpio is surrounded by libra and sagittarius which are the mool trikon signs of jupiter and venus mool trikon is a higher awareness than our own sign of course mool trikon is also an own sign so therefore scorpio is a very critical sign because it is the junction from where you decide to come back or to go ahead that's what scorpio is the beginning is from libra always understand <laughs> the beginning is libra libra is the start of desire it's the original 7th house 7th house is the house of desire and that decides your next birth that's what lord krishna says in the gita anta kale cha mame va smaran muktva kale varam whatever state of being one remembers at the end of life o son of kunti arjuna <laughs> that will decide his next birth so when we start indulging in libra which is primarily what primarily libra is the seventh house of desire but it's the house of sexuality unrestricted sexuality when we indulge in materialistic pleasure then we get attached attach means you cannot stay without it <laughs> you're helpless you are dragging on like a donkey you're just running behind <laughs> have you seen people running behind the opposite sex <laughs> money also but primarily you will see running behind the opposite sex bhag raha hai iske piche dekh <laughs> men women doesn't matter <laughs> everybody is equal here <laughs> so then what happens you get attached we get attached to such an extent because the shrimad bhagavatam says this material world is like a jail but the beauty of this jail is see when you go to a jail what happens you see different shackles right <laughs> they are there to stop you from escaping the jail so the moment you visit a jail you become very well aware that if i do something wrong i'll be behind bars these shackles will be there so better i not do anything wrong those shackles are the proof that that's not a nice place to be in but the shrimad bhagavatam says that this material world is made so beautifully that you do not see the shackles yes we do not see the shackles are everywhere <laughs> but it's so perfectly designed it's such a perfect jail that this material world is like a jail where the prisoner is coming and telling the jail keeper the jailer that madam i want to stay here it 
for eternity <laughs> and the jailer she's like oh yes you can enjoy good luck <laughs> this material world has been made in a way that you do not want to leave it why because it seems so beautiful it seems like a rose garden <laughs> but there are shackles and the shackles are invisible wow do you see no shackles <laughs> but the shackles are everywhere it is in every bit nook and corner and those shackles are the shackles of attachment because when you get attached to something then you can't leave it then you sit and cry ah that thing is gone so it begins in libra libra is just the beginning of indulgence and scorpio is that sign which shows that indulgence has gone to such an extent that you have become completely helpless now but 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 that's not the end <laughs> <coughs> sorry for the interruption there is no end in scorpio it is just a junction now from scorpio you can go to sagittarius which is the divine ninth house of the zodiac which shows enlightenment have you seen there is something very peculiar jupiter and venus both planets signify happiness or both are rivals in astrology how can two rivals signify happiness like take the example of sun and saturn one shows light one shows name fame one shows insult yes saturn is the significator of insult but how in the universe are two enemies jupiter and venus they are showing happiness how yes both of them shows happiness or do they, do they show something else well the answer is one shows happiness one shows pleasure venus <coughs> shows all the pleasure in your life pleasure means primarily materialistic pleasure which is very short lived like you want to eat an ice cream for 10 minutes you can enjoy the pleasure and then finally the pleasure is lost you want to enjoy physically with somebody 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes half an hour 1 hour 2 hour after that it's gone you want to watch a movie for 3 hours you are in illusion oh yeah this boyfriend girlfriend they are kissing they are having a great time after 3 hours tuck it's over you're back to your car <laughs> and then jupiter also represents pleasure but it represents happiness happiness which comes from the fulfillment of the soul Venus is about the fulfillment of the body. Jupiter is about the fulfillment of the soul. That is why Jupiter is Jiva Karak. Is the Karaka for Jiva, Jiva Atma. Atma. <laughs> And the Atma never dies. Nahanyate hanya mane sharire. That shloka is there in the Gita. Nayanam chindanti shastrani nayanam dahati pavaka. You cannot cut the soul, you cannot born you can't do anything with the soul it's nayanam chindanti shastrani you cannot use a shastra to damage to damage the soul so from scorpio you have an opportunity to go to sagittarius that is why i said in the beginning if somebody has a planet in scorpio it's a great blessing because that planet in scorpio now again whatever i say here will not apply to everybody it will depending on their individual horoscope if somebody has the 8th house very prominent <coughs> then and apart from that if they have planets or prominent positions in the or prominent things in the sign of scorpio then they are going to feel this more or if the lagna lord is in eighth or eighth lord is in lagna then this can happen more yes irrespective of the ascendant i am saying then these things which i am i said or which i am going to say now can have more of the effects so any planet which is in scorpio 
can, depending on the chart, give you the experience of a graveyard. Which means that thing is taken away from you and you are sitting and crying. Oh my God, I lost it. Because most of the people, they will only think about God when they lose something. So Scorpio is the beginning of spiritual life. Or rather than saying beginning of spiritual life, I would say it as beginning of the existence of spirituality. Scorpio tells you that Look, there is something else that you have to look for. Because you have already seen what is there. <laughs> you you are in Libra. Libra is enjoyment. Then you get attached and then that thing is taken away from you. So, Scorpio is whispering in your ears. Scorpio basically whispers, Listen to me. <laughs> that there is something which you have not experienced that is that which you have to experience now that is Sagittarius and of course it represents the Guru and you know divine enlightenment Sagittarius whichever ultimately it represents God the Guru is a <coughs> representative of the God the scriptures and all the paraphernalia of God so that is why a person who has Scorpio prominent, you will see that sometimes they are too much into spirituality. Why? Because they have understood what Libra is. <laughs> and you will also see people who have Scorpio very prominent are extremely materialistic. Liars of the highest order I have seen. Thugs of the highest order. The way they speak lies, my God. There's no competition. <laughs> Why they are speaking lies? Because they want more and more, right? They want to get more and more attached. <laughs> Crooks of the highest order I have seen with this sign. Why? Because they have not yet looked to Sagittarius. So this is the only sign where you will find both. But the whole horoscope will decide where are they going. Are they going back to Libra or they are going towards Sagittarius? That's what Scorpio is ultimately. Scorpio is that thing which tells you that you have to look to God because there's nothing back. <laughs> Why? Because ultimately Scorpio is everything at an absolute sense because one day everything will be taken away from us. Nothing shall remain. Your beautiful wife, she will not be there. Your husband, he will not be there. Your son, your daughter, your mother, father, nobody. <laughs> One day, this body itself is not going to be there. Maybe you are there in some other body. In some other animal body, dog's body, cat's body. Or in the body of a scorpion maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Scorpio is ultimately it's the teardrop you are sitting and crying wherever you think of Scorpio just think of a person who is sitting and crying so Scorpio's tagline is suffering is a wake up call should I repeat suffering is a wake up call because actually there is no suffering in this world because <laughs> the <coughs> because the nothing actually dies because nothing is actually nothing actually bo gets uh, birth because whatever you see that perishes ultimately comes from mother nature so the mother nature is only changing forms today this mud is there maybe there's a percentage of this earth which has come and accumulated in my hands and that has been stamped as my hand but one day this hand will also dissolve but actually this hand was never there because everything was already down in the mud <laughs> so suffering is actually an illusion but because we are so much attached to the body so we 
keep feeling that oh my god we are suffering 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 <coughs> because ultimately everything belongs to god nothing is yours nothing is mine so how can we lose something which we don't have people say i lost this person oh, i mean that person was never yours <laughs> that person is an individual soul who as per karma was in a particular body and you are so much obsessed with that person yes but that person was never yours he or she was never your property but you thought that person is mine and now when that person is not there oh my god life is terrible <laughs> i lost him i lost her how many of you have seen people telling i lost that person you know so if we understand this fact that nobody is ours actually everybody is god's property then we will not lament because suppose you are going outside and you see there's a brand new limousine and a truck comes and hit the hits the limousine you'll be like oh shit man that beautiful limousine ha ah, gone but you will not sit and start crying and weeping oh my god you know the limousine is finished i will die my life has ended why because you know that's not yours <laughs> no idiot will sit and cry for a limousine or anything which is not his which got destroyed but suppose there's a madman who thinks that this limousine is mine and then he will start howling growling crying Oh my god you know i lost the limousine see it will take me a thousand euros to or maybe 10000 euros to repair <laughs> so that's the foolishness that we think something is ours and because of that we keep suffering there you go that's what scorpio is okay it is the junction of libra and sagittarius it is the only sign from where you can go to sagittarius and if somebody has planets in sagittarius prominent planets in sagittarius then it is to be understood that they have made the right decision <laughs> to go towards sagittarius that does not mean that uh, if you have planets in signs like scorpio or libra or gemini especially it is a bad thing i am not saying that but what i am saying is very clear that there will be a time when we have to look through the telescope <laughs> is it the telescope from with which we can see objects very far yes microscope is the one with whom which we can see near so let's not be the microscope you know <laughs> let's see with the telescope it's very long it's very far we can see everything from there <laughs> all right so the question is how do we do that well we inculcate spiritual practices in our day we read the scriptures like shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita or the quran or the bible whichever tradition we are belonging to or whichever book inspires us just because we are born in a hindu family it's not mandatory that we have to read the gita only or we will go to hell if we don't read the gita it's not like that. if you are inspired by the quran or the bible you can read that also and vice versa <laughs> reading uh, shrimad bhagavatam reading mahabharat reading ramayan every day at least half an hour that will give us the intelligence and then having a spiritual community having your gurus your god brothers your god sisters visiting them in the weekends at least if you are married and chanting mantras every day in the morning or evening as per your guru guru's prescription yes and that is how we can understand what the sign of scorpio is okay so next time you see some article about what scorpio is it's the sign of sexuality or it's the divine holy glorified sign just remember this that it is the junction all right there you go i hope i did not offend you much <laughs> with this video so but if some of you have been offended then i can't help it <laughs> <laughs> okay so thank you very much and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it 
and if you want a consultation go down to the link below okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in scorpio also <laughs> no you won't find him in scorpio he will take you to sagittarius okay bye bye see you